definitely Phanutria, also known as the wandering spider, one of the most toxic spiders on the planet. That is awesome. Look at the camel in that. I'm actually shocked that I just saw that thing. Guys, we're literally getting ready to leave. And I'm just walking along this little pass of the, uh, path with some moss right here. Here's some movement. And there we go. Our main target. All right, guys, checking in. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We're in brand new rainforest now, way up in the mountains. I think we're at like 3,000 feet of elevation near, sort of near uh, Cerro Chiripo area. And this is just lush, extremely uh, dense and wet rainforest. Tons of mosses and air plants, bromeliads. I mean, this is amazing. This is like my ideal kind of rainforest i guess i would want to be in the fairly cool weather compared to like some of the other parts we've been on the, on been in on the osa peninsula tonight we should be coming back here with lights i'll be looking for that we got some really cool lizards in the area frogs it'll be a good time but wanted to come check it out and then uh we'll see how it is tonight fingers crossed see you guys then Look at that. Not two minutes into this hike behind our Airbnb. Finally on this trip, we got a true Fonutria, no questions asked. Um, this should be Fonutria diplotatus or diplotata. William's gonna try to get a little defense display for us. Oh yeah, look at that. That is definitely Fonutria, also known as the wandering spider, one of the most toxic spiders on the planet. These guys are no joke. Um, definitely not something you want to take a bite from. And they're extremely defensive as well. Terrible combo. And they're not exactly small spiders. This one's decent size, but they actually get quite a bit bigger. Um, like actually probably double that size. It's kind of a kind of an intimidating thought. Jeez, all right, we're gonna keep moving, but it's an interesting start. Can't believe we finally got one. All right, so we're back in the high elevation jungle behind the Airbnb after dropping uh, to some lower elevation earlier to try and find some dart frogs, and we failed miserably. But back over here, we've already seen our first confirmed Fonutria, which is the highly venomous wandering spiders. And uh, now we're heading down towards the river so we can find some snakes, maybe some vipers, who knows. So we've seen multiple praying mantises already, which is interesting because I was not expecting to see them. We just found another one right here, a little green one. And then, let me not step near this ditch. Really pretty guy right here. There he is. We just found one of my big targets for this area. Looks like a large pug-faced anole, almost certainly. It's actually a lot bigger than I realized they would be. It's got to be a decent sized adult. That is awesome. Look at the camel in that. I'm actually shocked that I just saw that thing. We tried to come out here during the day to see one and some vipers, but did not see either. Look at that guy. <laughs> wow. That's great. Yeah, I'll catch Oh yeah. It's definitely a pug face. Wow. That 
is a gorgeous lizard. <laughs> Look at that thing. Very large too. This is a pug faced and all. You can see where it gets its name. Look at that. Oh. Trying to give me a good bite. That short little snout. It's actually pretty large. And look at this crazy green camouflage coloration on him. Hey, 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 mm. hey. Let's see what the bite feels like. Huh. <laughs> Not too bad. Beautiful lizard, though. I don't want to stress him out too much, so I'm going to put him back up in his branch in a minute here. We're going to keep looking. But that was a huge target. I was really, uh, really hoping to get off my list. Look at that thing. So, so sweet. Just wanted to check this guy out for a minute here. Sweet. Well, right after that pug nose to and we got a, a blunt headed tree snake right here off the trail, right next to the creek. Actually, a really nice one, too. Nice, dark, uh, almost black and white banding. That's cool. Common snake, we've seen probably two of these so far this trip. Second most common after the ornate cat-eyed. But these are really cool, slender-bodied arboreal species. And he's out looking for uh, probably some lizards, maybe frogs. I'm gonna leave him to it though, we're gonna keep walking. Look at this huge stick insect right here. It's got like green lichen looking camouflage right here on its back. Frog. Mr. Frog. Looks like it's depositing eggs or something. Oh, that's a pretty one. Pretty little, maybe robber frog, I don't know for sure about these guys. Looks like one we saw a little bit earlier too. William's trying to coax out the biggest cockroach we've ever seen in our lives hiding in this tree. Oh, All right. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes lighting you up. Jesus. Big? Oh my god, he got past me. Oh. There's also allegedly uh, black cougars in this area uh, that the neighbors or the locals have seen near uh, the place that we're staying at. So gotta keep our eyes peeled down these trails, both where we came from and in front of us, because I don't know if they're, uh, you know, wanting to go after people. They're probably pretty shy, pretty shy creatures, but. Gotta be, gotta be uh, careful in the jungle. Just don't know. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Thought that was an earthworm, but that is a giant leech for sure. Like the biggest one we have ever seen. Moving way too fast to be a worm. Holy crap. Guys, I got one question for you. What planet did we just land on? This is freaky. Oh, there's a little wasp nest. What kind of wasps are those? Really cool little dwarf wasps, wasp species like the ones we saw the other night. <sighs> We're 
we're actually in the cloud right now. It's amazing. The weather is perfect here. I can barely breathe, but it's fun. It's a good time. We also saw some boards over here. A little bit of roadside trash that we're going to check out. Damn. There's also these really cool plants right here I've never seen before. It's our second to last day in Costa Rica, and we're hanging out at the summit, very high elevation, about 11,500 feet roughly, near uh, Cerro Buena Vista. And we're going to be looking for two species of very, very interesting lizard here. We have some really crazy looking, uh, a really wild looking biome to be honest. I mean, it looks completely different from what we've been doing in the rainforest. A bit drier, it's hard to describe. A lot of uh, mosses and lichens and rocky habitat. No monstrous trees here. A lot of short vegetation, low profile, close to the ground. We're looking for a very special species of lizard called the Abronia, specifically a Montane Abronia, which is a species of alligator lizard. We're primarily gonna be scanning the floor don't believe they're very arboreal like some of the other abronia lizards in the genus from what i can tell I'll be scanning some of these rock faces here scalopras though should be a little more arboreal hopefully we don't have too much trouble finding one today seeing as we're limited on time. Also, uh, scalopris lizards, which are extremely beautiful. Hopefully we can find one here. We're not gonna be spending too much time. We do have to start heading back to San Jose to fly out tomorrow morning, but maybe we'll get something cool while we're here. Anybody home? <sighs> Talking to the lizards. Oh yeah, this side looks even better. Surprisingly, I feel like being up here has been the least winded I've felt the whole trip. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Thankfully, they're not super painful. But a little bit of a nuisance. Oh, that looks so good. Really? Well, just saw a hummingbird. I can definitely tell a number of these rocks have been lifted by somebody before. Probably looking for the same thing. Air is a lot thinner up here, so taking big breaths. Cool little spider. Where'd he go? There he is. Some type of little sack spider species. Got a pristine little roadside creek here. We came back down a little bit to check out last spot. Did not see anything. It is super cool out though. No sun coming through. Probably pretty common for this kind of elevation, but they may be hiding because of that. Have to flip them maybe. Look at this little creek. Sir, sir.
there might have been like at least two right there. Holy sh! Guys, we're literally getting ready to leave, and I'm just walking along this little path of the uh, path with some moss right here. Here's some movement, and there we go. Our main target up here in the uh, Buena Vista Mouse Mountains. Montane alligator lizard. Holy crap. It's even smaller than I realized. Probably not an adult. I would say almost certainly not. Check right here. This looks like a good spot. She's giving me a little nibble right now. Um, I'm guessing this is a female because I believe the males tend to be like a black coloration with some green and blue, almost mint speckling. You can see she's got... <coughs> She's got the uh, green blues on her chin there, but more of like an orangish brown. Still very pretty. She's actually really nice looking. You can see she has actually a regenerated tail right there, meaning she at some point lost the end of her tail and had to grow it back. That's so cool. She is not letting go. Maybe this is an adult. I'm not sure how big the females get, but males do tend to be a bit bigger, at least in other abronia species. So cool. I'm gonna grab some pictures of this beautiful high elevation montane lizard. What are we at, like 10 or 11,000 feet right now? Um, yeah, about 10. 10,000 feet elevation. Oh, what a cool lizard. Man, we are getting so lucky. 10,800. 10,800 foot elevation. We are getting so lucky this trip with herps. It's been absolutely incredible. Could not. Could not have happened any better, honestly. <laughs> wow. Here's another look at this gorgeous Montane Abronia lizard. Man, these are cool. Just a little female doing her thing. Exploring through the moss here, probably looking for some little invertebrates to prey on. Really cool. You can see why they, uh, they're called alligator lizards. Really cool little plated body there. All right, it's starting to downpour, so I gotta get back in the truck. Oh, hell no. All right, here we go. Letting her back in her little spot where I found her. That wraps up part five of the Costa Rica series. I had an incredible trip and I hope you guys enjoyed following along. Now I'm gonna head back to Texas, think up some new uh, adventures for us. This trip was just so different than anything I've done before. And it just really, I guess, motivated me to wanna do this with stuff more often. So hopefully we can in the future. Thanks for joining this series and I'll see you on the next adventure.